A Colorado doctor in trouble, discipline for spreading what the state medical board calls misinformation about COVID treatments and vaccines. This is the first discipline of its kind we've heard about in Colorado. Tonight, CBS4 investigator Brian Moss has much more. Also, talked exclusively to that doctor. Nebulization takes any liquid and pushes it into a fine mist that you can inhale. Dr. Thomas Levy is a cardiologist, a licensed doctor in Colorado since 1991. Last year, he published this book, advocating a COVID treatment called hydrogen peroxide nebulization. But when used as directed, it's about the safest intervention there is. As shown on internet videos, it involves inhaling hydrogen peroxide in a mist form. Hydrogen peroxide is an antiseptic used for cuts and scrapes and as a household cleaning agent. It's literally the perfect remedy. It kills the pathogen and leaves behind an optimal environment for the tissue to heal. But the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America issued a stark warning about the unproven treatment. Do not put hydrogen peroxide into your nebulizer and breathe it in, wrote the group. This is dangerous. It doesn't work, and there's no way to, to package that and, and, uh, and make a falsehood or truth. Dr. Tayson Bell specializes in pulmonary care and infectious diseases. I'm very surprised. This is not um, this is not sound medical advice, and I'm surprised that someone in the medical profession uh, would be recommending this. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is harmful. It's not, not only does it uh, not work against COVID, but it's harmful to your body. Now, the Colorado Medical Board has admonished Levy for promoting hydrogen peroxide and cautioning against COVID vaccines. You committed unprofessional conduct, wrote the medical board. You failed to meet generally accepted standards of medical practice. Maybe they believe I was unprofessional for offering information on something I've witnessed as a board certified cardiologist and a board certified specialist in internal medicine. I've witnessed it cure people. Levy admits there have been no scientific studies on the treatment, but he says he's heard from many people that it worked. You think this would prevent you from getting COVID? Absolutely. About a dozen state medical boards across the country have disciplined doctors for spreading COVID misinformation, with Levy being the latest. The Colorado Medical Board warned the spreading of inaccurate medical information concerning COVID-19 that a licensee should reasonably know to be false poses a significant health risk to the public. Levy says despite the Colorado discipline, he is not going to stop advocating this treatment. Free speech is free speech. You can't have free speech with a big asterisk. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. Levy now lives in Florida but maintains his Colorado medical license. Tonight